This is Force of 13, a regional AE channel with the latest on the national and local weather scenes. The Bureau of Meteorology has in place a top priority severe weather warning for damaging winds, heavy rainfall for the Hunter, Illawarra, Central Tablelands forecast districts. Damaging wind risk near the coast and heavy rainfall possible late today, early Sunday. Heavy rainfall may lead to flash flooding and may develop about the central tablelands, the Hunter, and including the metropolitan districts from Saturday afternoon to Sunday morning. Six early rainfall totals between 30 to 50 millimetres possible with isolated falls above 70 millimetres. Thunderstorms also in the warning area may bring isolated heavy rainfall during the afternoon and into the evening. Heavy rainfall increases the potential for landslide and debris across roads and damaging winds averaging 60 to 70 kilometres an hour with peak gusts in excess of 90 kilometres an hour may develop during or I should say along coastal parts of the Illawarra Metropolitan and the Hunter as the low moves off the coast late on Saturday early Sunday morning. Heavy rainfall expected to ease by Sunday morning with winds weakening by late Sunday morning. Flood watch remains in place Locations under the warning at this point in time, Newcastle, Gosford, Sydney, Wollongong, Nowa and Katoomba. The warning for the South Coast District has been cancelled. The surface trough is drawing humid tropical air over New South Wales. Low pressure centre expected to deepen within the trough today. Then cross the coast late today or early Sunday before quickly moving well offshore during a Sunday morning. Bureau Meteorology has in place a strong wind warning from the Sydney Coast Waters, the Goths, Macquarie, Hunter, Sydney, Illawarra and Batemans Coast. However, for Sunday, as the low uh, deepens, there will be a gale warning for the Macquarie, Hunter, Sydney, Illawarra and Batemans Coast Sunday. The uh, Bureau has also issued a hazardous surf warning for the Macquarie, Hunter, Sydney and Illawarra case. The Bureau will update the flood watch information for New South Wales inland rivers, the Hunter, the Greater Sydney Districts and they've added a new one, Shoalhaven. Many uh, flood warnings remain in place. 
Let's also seek Grazia's warning for the mid north coast, northern tablelands, Illawarra, south coast, central tablelands, the southern tablelands, the northwest slopes, plains, along with the snowy mountains and the ACT forecast districts. New South Wales is not alone when it comes to a flood watch. Tasmania's got a flood watch for parts of northwest, north and northeast Tasmania. Strong wind warning in the southeast case. Victoria has a Strong wind warning for Sunday for the East Gippsland case. Flood watch Tasmania's northwest, north and northeast Tasmania. Series of cold fronts, troughs across the case, bringing widespread rainfall to the northern half of Tasmania since 9am Thursday. Rainfall totals of 10 to 110 millimetres were recorded and the Bureau will update that information around 2.30 daylight saving time. It's not good news for those attending the Bathurst 1000. Saturday in particular looks extremely concerning with some of the heaviest rain for the weekend lightning to strike right around the time of the top 10 shootout at 1705 when the battle for key grid positions take place. A trough line will move over the New South Wales central tablelands around 5pm that means the potential for very heavy rain, possible storms on a day when 20 to 40 millimetres in total is likely. By Sunday, showers around Bathurst will be isolated, much lighter than previous day, which is great news for the actual race, which starts at quarter past the 11, daylight saving, and normally runs through till around 1800 hours. There'll be some light and intermittent showers around on Sunday, but no one will be pelted. Of course, the Bathurst 1000 is not just about drivers and safety on the track, but about fans. Thousands of people camping around the track, and the same emergency service has warned that some camp grounds will likely be flooded. Bathurst has already had a weak weekend with the heaviest 24 hour total being 23.2 millimetres to 9am Thursday. Further 8.2 millimetres has fallen and another rain band passing across the region for west to east. The Rain appears set to clear this evening, although it seems that it's already taken a toll. There have been 11 crashes in qualifying today due to the wet conditions. Now this is uh, a news item from uh, 24 hours ago. Now we have a look at the Bureau's latest rainfall information starting off with the 12 hourly. And a couple of minutes ago we had a look at the precipitation and pressure from 10am through to 2200 hours Sunday. And as mentioned in an earlier broadcast 
we have a zombie vortex developing off the southeast of Queensland coastal region a cool pocket of uh, water rainfall intensity scale or rainfall scale right hand side of the screen and next week the Bureau of Meteorology will release its summer outlook document and the Bureau's total forecast of rain days 1 to 3, 5 to 8 and 1 to 8. The uh, picture changes slightly here in uh, Queensland the southeast corner comes in under a bit of yellow 10 to 15 millimetres but again it's southern Vic New South Wales northern or northeastern Victoria east of Gippsland and more rain for Tasmania Our capital city uh, temperatures 20 in 